Well, good Wednesday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest and you are ready to face the day. Let me explain something about the YouTube video. I usually post these videos to YouTube and Facebook. Uh, at 6.45 in the morning, the upload begins. And usually by 7, they're on there or a little after. Facebook's video posted yesterday, and I got a, a message sometime in the morning from uh, a brother um, saying that uh, he I was on his mind, and I thought, well, great, I always need prayer. That may not have been a result of what I'm getting ready to tell you. Later in the day, I got a message from someone else asking me if I was all right. And I said, yeah, I'm doing pretty good. And then I got a message from someone um, miles away who said, I missed your morning devotion. Is everything good? I hope to catch you tomorrow. <laughs> so I went to YouTube, which I usually do every day anyhow, and checked. And the upload, it didn't even upload. So it was probably, I don't know, 4 o'clock yesterday afternoon before YouTube and the Charity Free Will Baptist YouTube page got the upload. So it is what it is technology i'm sorry if you were looking and 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 it was a blessing that someone said that that's how they usually start their day is they watch this uh, first um so hopefully this will be good for you today and i it was on facebook like i said uh, but it just didn't make the upload <laughs> to youtube until later i went back and looked and i thought oh no a, a, a piece of advice if you love me and you watch this and it isn't on by nine o'clock someone texts me and say hey buddy you all right <laughs> or, or say hey buddy what's wrong with you get that thing on there so Revival today. I got a little woman, uh, Sister Joyce, that likes this book real well. So August uh, 30th, 1902, Pure Religion. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fathers and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. And that is James 1.27. What does it mean to be religious? Going to church, singing in the choir, teaching a class, giving money to your church, being moral and upright, knowing the Bible, God's definition in James 1.27 is different, isn't it? Keeping ourselves from the pollution of this world is hard enough. But on the positive side of the equation, how many fatherless children have you helped? How many widows have you cared for? Robert Sheffy died in Whitegate, Virginia on August 30th, 1902. Sheffy suffered from rheumatism in his last years and had to be cared for by others. This great circuit-riding preacher had seen amazing answers to prayer and miraculous conversions everywhere he went throughout the Appalachian Mountains. His gravestone, however, would say nothing about his preaching, praying, or revival work. The epitaph simply reads, The poor were sorry when he died. Toward the end of his ministry, Jesus told of the saved standing before their Savior in heaven. Christ the King announces, Come, ye blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Matthew 25, 34. He describes how these faithful servants had given him food when he was hungry, when they had given him drink when he was thirsty. They had given him clothes when he was naked. When he was sick, they had visited him. When he was in prison, they came to him. The people are confused. At the moment, at the comment of their, or, or wait, the people are confused at the comment of their Savior. When did he ever go to prison? When did we ever do those things to you, Jesus? They asked. And the king answered, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it unto the least of these, you have done it unto me. What could we do for someone less fortunate than ourselves today? Would Jesus do it? Would he want us to do it for him? Man's religious definition doesn't require it, but God does. <laughs> Very good. All right, folks, here we go. Let's give this one a shot. He let me try my wings because I ask him to. Knowing all the time I couldn't fly. He gave my feet their liberty 
and let them walk away and all the time I never asked him why and now I'm beginning to understand he bought my life and he already had it planned oh foolish me I could not see sin had my vision dim he let me go just so I would know that I couldn't make it without him he let me choose my footsteps down the road of mine farther from his care my feet try the easy way was pride and gain without a cross to bear when my road took me far from God and now I'm beginning to understand he bought my life and he already had it planned oh foolish me I could not see sin had my vision him. He let me go just so I would know that I couldn't make it without him. Lord, I thank you for the opportunity today to, uh, to share uh, devotion with these folks that are watching this. God, I'm thankful for the ones who do watch and I pray that it helps them. And maybe today, this is just an outreach. Sometimes people say, oh, we don't need that stuff. It's too modern. We don't need Facebook and YouTube. But I understand that although it may be a small amount of people that I reach through it, uh, God, that you can take the words and be a blessing to them. And they're my friends. And so, God, I pray that you would bless and encourage them today. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless, folks. <laughs> Hopefully you'll see this in the morning or whenever. But uh, God bless you, and I'll see you on Thursday.